All right, folks, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. It is freezing outside right now, literally freezing. I debated about firing up the pressure washer today just to see if we could turn it into snow or ice. Uh, decided not to destroy my equipment. So anyways, wanted to make this quick video about what temperature does bleach freeze. Um, I'll try and post a link to give you the definitive answer. Um, but it has been in the teens all day long. And people are like, oh, no, you got to keep your bleach indoors. No. A um, couple things there. One, if you actually Google it, it'll say bleach freezes at like 26 degrees or something like that. And then other stuff will actually show, depending on the concentration or the strength of the bleach, it'll freeze at a lower and lower, lower temperature. Um, which makes sense. I mean, we all know that water freezes at 32 degrees, salt water freezes at a slightly lower temperature. And then, you know, the, the more salty that water is, the lower it's going to go. Well, bleach is pretty stinking salty. Um, it's not just bitter, but it's salty. Um, so this 550 gallon tank, We've got out here, I'll show you here, we've got our, it's always outside, we've got 300 gallons of pure liquid gold as we like to call it, and just to prove there's no optical illusions, nice and strong, nice and liquidy in there, we'll let that, because we don't want to, uh, bleach, I'm not wearing my pressure washing gear right now, we're going to throw this on here, um, big thing too, we keep the lid on here. Not letting the cold air get direct access to the water or the bleach inside there helps to insulate it some. If this was going to be really, really cold last year, we had some single digit temperatures for like two or three days. I threw a space heater next to it just because I was paranoid. Uh, but now knowing what I know, um, quite frankly, it's fine. Um, if you've also, if you've got a five gallon bucket of bleach, that is going to freeze a lot sooner than 300 gallons of bleach. Um, just like it's pretty pretty much impossible to freeze a whole stinking ocean versus freezing a five gallon bucket of water. Um, the overall volume that you have makes a difference, but certainly the strength has the biggest impact on how much uh, or what temperature your bleach is going to freeze. Um, we do have again, our box truck right back here. That's got a space heater inside it. That's nice and toasty in there. We actually got it cranked up a bit. Um, and then we've got our flatbed over here that, um, that one's got a space heater. We put the tarp over it's certainly a bit colder in there, but we've got that one cranked up to basically max heat to just keep it going, to keep it warm. Um, and we had already winterized, blown the lines out, put antifreeze inside our booster pump, uh, put antifreeze inside of our 8-gallon minute pump too. So just trying to do what we can to make sure that our equipment survives this crazy cold. Um, we'll be above freezing in the next couple of days and be out washing, doing roofs and everything. So have a great night.